Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do another spooky reaction video. This one is to the channel Depths of Despair. Uh, I've watched a few of the videos in the past. Uh, some pretty good stuff, so we thought I'd do a reaction video to it. Uh, this video is called 10 Scary Ghost Videos That Will Make You Feel Vulnerable. Um, if you do enjoy it, please pop by their channel. The link will be in the description and drop them a sub. Sub to my channel if you've already done so. Hit the thumbs up. Leave some feedback. Any feedback is appreciated. Any thoughts on any of the clips? Um, so we can have a discussion about it would be very much appreciated also. Uh, if you want to discuss this or any of the videos, come by my live streams from around 10 o'clock p.m. UK here on YouTube. And we can discuss all things spooky or gaming. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, let's get the cans on. Give this a watch and let's hope it's a good one, shall we? The video call. The original source of the video is unknown and not much context is provided, but two friends were talking to someone on a video call when suddenly that guy saw something that left him completely terrified. Esta, la de Javi. Sí. Chavi, no, 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 yo vi que la puerta que está enfrente es suyo se ah. movió. La esa de ahí, nada. Me juro que vi que esa puerta se movió. No, chicos, no, no, no. Yo lo vi con mis propios ojos. Yo vi que esa puerta de manera lenta se abrió y luego se cerró bruscamente, chicos. Nos intenta meter miedo, eh. No, 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 no. No, soy, no les estoy mintiendo ni por mucho menos, por favor. Yo le, le, le juro que por mis ojos, por lo que más tengo en mi vida, que esa puerta se movió. Es imposible. No hay nada. Así que, y mi gato está abajo. Es imposible que se mueva nada. Nos estaba tirando esto. Literalmente es el típico... Se ha quedado pillado. ¿Qué le pasa? Pues, atrás suyo hay alguien. ¿Cómo que atrás? ¡Me cago en la puta! Just a few seconds after checking the room was empty, the door opens by itself and then a dark shadow figure comes out of the room, completely scaring the boys away as they turn and see it. The reactions does seem quite authentic as the guy on the video call did genuinely seem freaked out and the boys thought he was messing with them. So is this a real shadow figure caught on camera? You judge. It could just be some sort of elaborate hoax that the problem might be pranking people viewing them or something. What do you guys think of that one? The hotel. A woman who works as a manager for a hotel located somewhere in Huchitepec, Mexico, has been informed by many other hotel staff that strange paranormal events have been occurring within the place. And one day, another staff member says they have seen someone in room 30. But the manager said that's not true because she vacated the room this morning and went to ventilate it herself. But a little later on in the day, as she's passing by, she notices something creepy through the window of that particular room. Watch closely. Irma me dijo que se veía una persona en la habitación 30. Y le dije, no, y me dice, está ocupada, le digo, no, no la, se desocupó en la mañana y no hay nadie. Y yo misma fui a ventilar esa habitación. Y ahorita que voy pasando por acá, me doy cuenta que si es cierto, se ve una, se ve como que si estuviera, alguien se estuviera asomando en la ventana. Vamos a ver, qué es que vamos a ver, qué hay ahí, pero se supone que no hay nada. Y sigue ahí viéndose. What looks like a person standing in the window can be seen, but there shouldn't be anyone in there, so she decides to go up to the room and take a closer look. Aquí más cerquita, aquí más cerquita. Sí, miren, ahí se ve, se alcanza a ver una cara. I couldn't even see it before. That's pretty. My, oh my, isn't it? Unos ojos. Vamos a ver. 
Vamos a ver a esa habitación. That's creepy. Rear blast. Estamos subiendo las escaleras porque este, desde ahí es donde estábamos viendo que se veía. Aquí ya no se ve nada. A lo mejor por el reflejo de la luz. Y vamos a ver en la habitación. Aquí está la cama porque esta es una habitación pequeña. Aquí pues no se ve nada. Y aquí está la tele donde está donde estábamos. Donde se supone que se veía, pero no se ve nada. No entiendo qué. ¿Por qué se ve? ¡Ah! As she gets closer, a creepy pale grey face can be seen through the window, and its eyes, nose and mouth are very easy to see. Not only that, but when she goes inside the room, you can see there is nothing there, so it's definitely not pareidolia, especially with the sudden bang at the end that scared her out of the room. Perhaps something tragic happened in this room in the past, but without more footage, this will remain a mystery. Yeah, it seems a bit strange. It was a creepy looking face, that man. But, um, weird that there was nothing actually near the window. And you couldn't actually stand there either because the telly was in the weirds. Hmm, what do you guys think? The garage. In the video, a woman can be seen passing by her neighbor's house when suddenly she notices something creepy going on inside her neighbor's garage. What makes this extremely creepy is that she knows her neighbors are currently away on vacation, so there shouldn't be anyone home. Yet she noticed the lights turning on, and as she continued to watch, she was struck with terror. A dark shadow figure can be seen running back and forth frantically with unusual movement that doesn't appear to be human. And then it suddenly stops and looks as though it stares directly at the woman, as if it knows she's watching. The way it moves is disturbing. Since nobody is home, just who or what is this? Let I think we've come across this one in the past as well, but it's, it is bizarre the movement and like he says it sort of stops and stares it's weird then the explanation why the lights will be flickering and stuff as well if there's nobody there oh look at a stranger on this what do you guys think let me know if you have any video recommendations you can send them over to depths of despair business at gmail.com or tag us on tiktok at depths of despair yt Unexplainable. A woman named Katie explains that she has been hearing strange sounds coming from around the house late at night. From unexplained banging to unknown voices and even her dogs seem to behave in a bizarre manner, as if they can sense something otherworldly. One night Katie gets up to go and use the bathroom around 4.30am when she hears something chilling and decides to lock herself in there. here bitch all 
sorts of sounds can be heard from whistling to tapping and groaning. The next night she plans to head to the bathroom around the same time to see if anything happens. This is what she captures. A shadow can be seen passing by under the doorway. It is possible that it could have been one of the dogs could walking by. However, the strange sounds and the groaning definitely don't sound like that of a dog. Katie is now at a loss, not sure what is going on in the house or what she should do. A few minutes after this, her dog starts to behave strangely, crying at something behind the door. There's a washing machine on it all for though. Why are you crying? What? Maddie? Maddie? What's the matter? What? You tell me a little dog, right? Are you okay? What's the matter with you? Hmm? I don't even, she's crying at something and there's nothing there. I don't know what's going on right now. The dog seems to be crying and behaving strangely and this bizarre behavior seems to continue for multiple nights, freaking Katie out to the point where she comments she's moving. But it has been nearly two months and nobody has heard from her ever since, so it's unclear what happened. Like most videos, this one is a mystery. Yeah, it's a, it was a washing at half four in the morning. Um, <laughs> there seemed to be too much going on there, to be honest. Um, the whistling and the groaning and stuff. Want to use guys' makeup at all? It, it, I don't know. I can't, I'm trying to comprehend what we've just seen, and it's sort of talking one way, but saying it's yeah, there's no explanation for it. But are they just thin walls? Is there people in a flat next door, or people going to work, or people pissed off? Let's just go that washing machine on at half four in the morning. What do you guys think? The ritual. Three friends decided to head out to an isolated park in the middle of the night and hold some sort of seance As you by do. playing a strange game where they attempt to contact a spirit by flipping the bottle and making statements and asking questions. When the bottle lands upright, that means yes. And when the bottle falls over, that means no. It may seem like a harmless game, especially since they are using a plastic water bottle as the means of contact. But things quickly take a dark turn. Watch closely. Vamos a ver qué tal, a ver qué resulta. Ojalá y podamos eh, contactar algo, que algo se manifieste. Mm. Oh, si hay alguien aquí que se manifieste a través de la botella. Hay alguien aquí con nosotros.
¿Eres mujer? Es una mujer, no sé. ¿Qué no, fueron las puertas. Cállate. No, 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 no. Oigan, es que se paró el aire. Esto fueron las puertas. Voy a llorar. Uy, no sé si vean mis ojos, pero están llorosos. Uy. ¿Eres buena? No, no, no cállate. Es... No es buena. ¿Nos vas a asustar? Sí. Mm. Ay, mucho miedo. ¿Eres una adulta? Sí. sí. Lo que vimos a lo lejos. No, sí. No te pases. Se nos manifestó. Es que vimos a una persona. No, 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 no voy a llorar, güey. Ay, no. No sé, ya vamos. Vimos a una persona a lo lejos ahorita. Luces así. Ah, 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 ah. Sí, había unas luces. Ah, 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 ah. Bueno, ya. Papi, ¿te vas a acercar más a nosotras? Sí, sí, sí. Ah. Mm. A ver, hay que cerrar. Debemos cerrar, hay que cerrar. Podemos eh, cerrar la sesión. Podemos dejar de jugar, por favor. Podemos dejar de jugar ya. Dale, Lin, por favor. Podemos dejar de jugar ya, por favor. Podemos dejar de jugar, por favor. Nos puedes dejar ir ya, por favor. No puedes. Ir. Podemos irnos ya, por favor. Vamos. The moment the game stops, they immediately get up to look around and notice something downright chilling. Okay, es que allá nosotros vemos algo. No alcancen a ver, pero hay algo. No nos queremos acercar, pero se ve muy negro, súper negro. Yo digo que es la sombra del árbol, pero ellas dicen que es otra cosa. By playing this game and attempting to contact something, they unknowingly summoned an entity into this world, and a dark shadow figure can be seen lurking right next to a nearby tree, just standing there watching them. And as she asked if it was getting closer, it said yes. So it must have been moving towards them from the distance the whole time, and it got that close as they were struggling to end the game. Luckily, they managed to do so just in time. Otherwise, who knows what would have happened. Yeah. That's a bit of a odd one. I mean, kids do do that shit like that, but, um... The noises and stuff. It could have just been general noises to be honest nobody really knows might have been the wind on the gate or whatever but the shadow figure seemed i don't know it could have just been a shadow um it didn't seem to move or anything there was no they didn't try and shine a light towards it to try and see if there was anything there or anything like that what do you guys make of it Hospital it's so creepy and the, the pool Someone band in the middle of terrified. Someone working a night shift in a hospital located somewhere in Dallas, Texas. 
where some unexplainable things have been occurring within a specific floor of the hospital. Many patients and nurses have claimed to see and hear strange things on this floor. Late one night, two nurses are finishing up their night shifts by clearing up one of the medical rooms when they notice this. <laughs> Someone trying to dole, but it's. Did you hear trying. her? Yes. You hear her? Hmm. I heard singing or something. They were sleeping over the world, we woke them up. We woke them up. More sounds like a girl humming or groaning can be heard on the supposedly haunted floor of the hospital. It's important to note that there are currently no patients on this floor, so other than the two nurses present, nobody else is there. On another night, a different nurse captures something similar. That was you. No, I swear to God. Was that something? <laughs> the same strange noise can be heard almost completely identical to what the other nurses heard a few days prior. And on that same night, another nurse captures something else. She notices the door opening by itself when nobody is around. The nurses believe that this is the result of a young girl who was once a patient on this floor who used to hum, but sadly passed away and now her spirit remains bound to the place. That's creepy stock footage, whatever the hell that is. Um, the noise is fair enough, the door could just open. Um, doors do that every now and then, but it didn't show you the sort of it firmly shut for it to open that way. It might have just she might have just caused a draft or whatever and made it swing open on its own when just walked past or whatever, but the noises were a bit bizarre. I haven't worked in hospitals, I know it's it can be quite a daunting place when it's empty. Uh, certain wings and stuff that you go through can be quite creepy. What do you guys make of that? Now I said the door thing, not as convinced, but the voice, the humming was quite creepy. Hiking alone. A man named Bambo was hiking alone in the middle of the Pokemon State Forest, a well-known forest for being extremely haunted Bambo and home for Pokemon? to many rumors and urban legends. While in the middle of hiking, he hears the woods suddenly go quiet and begins to get the feeling that something is following him. Worried for his safety while deep in the woods, he decides to start recording, and he captures this. Hola, me encuentro en el Pocomo State Forest, en Maryland. Este es uno de los bosques más embrujados de Maryland. Llevo 25 minutos adentrándome aquí en el, en el bosque. Eh, no he sentido así una sensación muy, muy, muy rara. Pero algo hay, algo hay aquí, porque nomás de repente es un silencio total. ¿Oyeron? ¿Oyeron? Uh. Bueno, espero hayan escuchado, pero les digo si sí, hay sensación. Es una sensación rara aquí en este Pocom State Forest, ¿eh? que han sucedido muchas cosas, asesinatos, desapariciones. Bueno, ahí sí desaparezco, ya saben dónde estoy, en el Pocom State Forest. A sudden sound can be heard approaching him from behind, but as he quickly turns to look, he sees nothing there. ¿Oyeron? Unable to locate whatever is following him, he decides it would be best to leave before things get out of control. Since Maryland is home to many haunted forests, 
including the notorious Black Hills Forest from the Blair Witch Project. Could it be that something otherworldly was following him? Or is it just an animal? You be the judge. Blair Witch. The morning. It could have been anything. Obviously, it would be quite creepy if you're out there on your own and you hear sort of what sounds like footsteps. But it could have literally been anything that. What are you guys saying? It's 9.40 a.m. and a girl named Mildred had just woken up. But as she wakes up, she notices her dog is tucked in bed with her and shaking. Her dog normally doesn't ever get on her bed, so she knows something strange is going on with her dog. Her sister is asleep beside her and nobody else is in the room, so she decides to capture her dog's behaviour when she captures something utterly terrifying. A creepy pale face can be seen in the corner of the room for a mere moment before suddenly disappearing. Many viewers stated that this explains the dog's strange behaviour as it could sense an ominous spirit in the room and felt threatened. After reviewing the footage for herself, Mildred is now trembling with fear, afraid to sleep in that room again. Fierce or just dull or pareidolia? Hard to tell, really. What do you guys make of it? Just moved in. I didn't I, even see it at first, to be fair. I featured Rosanna on the channel previously. She has recently just moved into a new apartment in France. And just a few days after moving in, she randomly started experiencing paranormal torment in her new home. She has sent her son away to stay with his dad while she tries to figure out what's going on. One night, her bedroom door suddenly slams shut on its own, so she starts to record. Really? The light flashes and the rocking toy moves on its own before a sudden demonic sound can be heard and the lights flicker. Terrified, she decides to spend the rest of the night on the landing and books a hotel to spend a few nights away while she waits for the priest to arrive. A few days later, she returns and the priest visits. Unfortunately, this didn't help at all. In fact, it only served to make things worse, along with the other solutions she has tried, which include adding salt lines and reading the surah, multiple chapters of the Quran. She also explains that she purchased this apartment, which is why she currently isn't able to just up and move out of the place. So now she sleeps in the living room because it seems to be the most devoid of paranormal activity, or so she thought. The night after the priest's visit, she's sleeping in the living room and hears a loud bang around 3.30 a.m. So she goes to check it out. I'm getting thrown about. 
That's fun. She seems relatively calm for all that's going on. The activity seems to be getting stronger and is now all over the house, not just one room anymore. It seems like she has no choice but to remain in this haunted house. So we should get some more updates soon. Yeah. It, again, it's a one of them where it, it's sort of too good to be true, if you know what I mean. It's too clear and too precise. and But at the same time, you, you want to believe. Um, hopefully there will be more updates. And like I said, you just seemed a bit too... Oh, I mean, you could hear her breathing going and stuff, but... I just screamed and got out of there halfway through that, to be honest. But um, the whole lights and the rotten horse and the... I, I didn't quite get so much the demonic growl. That, that was a bit... I don't know, it seemed a bit too distant, if you know what I mean. It, it just didn't seem to fit the scene. Um, but again, it's like... The way the world is and the technology that's available to people and the effects people can do now. I would like to believe, but there's parts of it I'm thinking, really? What do you guys make of it? On the highway. It's just past 3 a.m. and a truck driver named Ken was traveling north down the I-57, a north to south interstate highway in Missouri, Illinois, when out of nowhere he sees something out of the corner of his eye that startles him. Now during his whole career of truck driving and delivering items he had never seen anything this strange and creepy before. Confused at what he had seen he decides to pull over and review his dash cam footage. This is what he saw. She'd go meet up with him and see if she can get him to confess. And it's a tough decision, I'm sure, but Amy ultimately agrees. She wears the wire and she gets up chopped. Yeah, I think we're seeing this one in the last clips. Um, it is still quite creepy and the backstory behind it is rather ominous as well. A person clad in white can be seen walking across the highway in the middle of the night. And it appears as though they just came out of nowhere. This has left Ken terrified without a doubt, because the very next day, a tragic accident happens in this precise, exact location. The reports state that the injured people involved saw a lady dressed in all white on the middle of the road, causing them to react suddenly and swerve their car out of the way, resulting in a collision. What makes this even more chilling is that the interstate police reviewed the CCTV footage of the accident and they didn't see any woman in white, just the car suddenly swerving for no apparent reason. The whole ordeal has left Ken completely shocked. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss Yeah guys, good stuff there. Again, there was one or two we might have seen previous, but still nice to revisit. Creepy stuff. I mean, like I said, that girl in the apartment. Almost too good to be true, if you know what I mean. I would like to believe. I would like to think stuff like that is happening real. Um, it's it's creepy. Don't get us wrong. I'd, I'd, I'd have been out there in a shot. But she just seemed a little too calm. 
all be that breathing was quite erratic and stuff. But um, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Um, or if you want to discuss this further, please pop by my live stream uh, from around 10 o'clock p.m. UK and we can have a chat about it. Like I said, please pop by Death to Display's channel. The link will be in the description. And if you want extra content, extra ghost videos and things like that, please become a member of the channel. All money's raised will go into sort of upgrading the channel quality and stuff like that. So be very grateful for that. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.